Hi, welcome to Simple Creations. I am so excited to share this product with you today. It's called Artfully Scent, and it's a Cricut collection. It's not just a Cricut cartridge, but there's so much that comes with it. And when I started looking through it, there was a lot that I realized I wanted to share with you, to show you what I noticed with it that makes it such a great product. First of all, it comes with the white daisy cardstock. It's a pack of 12 by 12 paper. And there's 25 of them. And the White Daisy cardstock is a really smooth cardstock and it's a 65 pound cover weight. So it's really nice and thick and heavy. And the reason they, they included this was this cartridge is great for card makers. So card makers need a card base to make your cards with. So they thought that would be a great product to, to include. It also comes with three D size stamp stamps. This one is the frames, and what I like about it is they actually show you where the paper would be cut out. You can cut out these frames with this cartridge, and then you can stamp on them. And what's great is it tells you exactly what size you need to cut it out at, and what page it is on in your book. So they've included some great full tips there. Also, this is an amazing... Uh, alphabet stamp set that comes with it because you're making cards you might want to put somebody's name on it or their age that type of thing it's a really nice curvy alphabet what's also great is this is the exact same alphabet that's included on the cartridge so you're going to have the exact same shapes and you can cut them out even bigger and this is one of my favorite things this is a sentiment stamp set but what's great about it is it includes what could go on the outside of the card and on the inside. So for example, we have Merry Christmas, and then on the inside you could put Happy New Year. Or Happy Birthday on the outside, and It's Time to Celebrate on the inside. And for example, there's everything's on a separate line, so you can include them wherever you want. So this says Wishing You the Best, and you could put On Your Achievement. Or you could do Wishing the, You the Best on Your Little Bundle of Joy or thank you for all you do, or thank you so very much. This is literally loaded with a bunch of sentiments. And I know it's hard to see in the book or online, so I thought I'd share this video with you so you could see it a little closer. But I'm sure you want to buy it yourself and get it, your hands on it and play with it. Okay, another thing, I noticed when people were showing videos of the overlay, it looked really plain. Well, I figured out why. All these buttons are just the alphabet letters, so it's not this big image or shape that you see on it, but that's the easiest way for you to know which button you're going to push. So that's why that looks that way. Also, I want to show you the books. They're in this book, it's your normal book you would get. They've laid it out very nicely. If you open it up right away, it shows you the full alphabet and where it goes um, on your um, in the book. It shows you the pages that you're going to find it on. And why this is great is because your alphabet on here is actually laid out like it is on a keyboard. So it's a QWERTY keypad and so it's not exactly in order. So when you're flipping through your book, A may be on page 21. There's your A and it's on page 21. But notice B's not right after it. On the keypad, S would come next, so S is next. So that is why this is so useful to tell you exactly where you can find it. Then on this next page, it shows all the envelopes and liners. We are still working on the first button. If you know your Cricut cartridges, you have four, six function buttons over here, and then you also have shift of each of these functions. Okay, say I push this first button, it's only number one, and then it's um, a punctuation is the shift. Well, within that same button, if you go down here, you have envelopes and liners. So this is even before we get to our functions. We have envelopes and liners that we can use for cards. Okay, now if we go to our first function on here, we have pop-ups. It actually lays out for you all of the pop-up cards that you're going to see in here. And then you go next, and you have all of your scenery cards. These are amazing. A lot of them, you'll see it looks like a double page, or you'll even have some where it's um, a full, full background underneath the, the front of it. And as you get your hands on it, you're going to see what I mean with that. Next, it's kind of hard to see because it's a bright yellow, 
But all of these cards have a sentiment cut out of them. So there's a sentiment on the front of the cards. And then another, this is actually the shift of the sentiment. So on your overlay, you have the sentiment here. Well, if you were to cut it out, you would hit shift, sentiment, and then your button. And these are more or less um, just a real clean cut. It's not really a sentiment, but it's a nice design. And those are all cards. Then we have sleeves. And they can be like an envelope without a top on it where you can slide your card in and out. It's a really nice design. The shift of the sleeve is a, a card that goes along with the sleeve. And then we have pocket cards. The pocket cards could be used in the Picture My Life albums. They could be an individual card. There's so much you can do with pocket cards. You can use them in your scrapbooking. Okay. So let me show you a few of my favorite ones in here. Okay, for example, let's look at the owl. We have the main button. You're going to have your cues. And it, up here it will show you. This is going to be your pop-up card, and this is your scene card. So it shows you what the finished product of your cards are going to look like. So then we go to our function. Here's where you would cut out your pop-up card, and it tells you the size to cut each one of those at to make it look nice. Here's your scenery card, and what it is is you have a card that you're actually going to score down the middle of the front cover, fold it back so it looks like this, and you're going to insert the next page and adhere it all. I'm going to do some videos coming up soon so you can see, see more of this. Here's the sleeve. For example, this is, it, you would put adhesive on two of the sides and fold it over, and you could slide something down in it. Or that's a nice tree card that you could use with it or separately. Here's your pocket cards, your sentiment card. See, here's a, a nice sentiment, and here is just a plain design. And here's some eyes for your owl, just icons to go along with it. So there's so much in this. And for example, this deer, this is a scenery card, and it's it's like a trifold. Your your main part of your cards in the middle. And then you're going to fold one side over and another side. And it creates a beautiful scenery on your, on your card. Again, there, there is so much here. I absolutely love these butterflies and how it looks. And to have a pop-up card with a detailed butterfly like, like that is amazing. It's a beautiful flower. Let's see what else. Okay, if you're into mustaches, there are mustache cards. That one says you're the best. There's one for Father's Day, the world's best father. So there's a lot to work with on those. There's also robots and superheroes. So there's stuff for boys. There's Halloween. There's Christmas. There are, are great cards for whatever season you need. There are 25 different card themes, and there's five different formats. So five of your buttons are a different type of card. What's great is, not only do you get your book that comes with a cartridge, you also get a book of how to put things together. So for example, this is a gorgeous hot air balloon card. This is going to be your outside cover, this is your inside cover, and it tells you exactly where to fold it, where to bend it, and how to adhere it. It's all you need to be able to put your cards together. And it helps you to visually see them too, because it's hard to see in the other book. But I love this baby card. It's got outfits hanging on the clothesline, and it's popped up blocks. They look like baby blocks. And I have a lot of weddings coming up, so I am excited about the wedding cards in here. This is a beautiful bride dress that's on a 3D card, or there's bridal shower, a wedding cake pop-up card, a Mr. and Mrs. pop-up card, and I love this one. This is a love bug card. So it's a pop-up card that the whole car will pop up when they open it. This is a beautiful Christmas card with the full scenery. And another cake. This could be birthday, it could be wedding, whatever you need a cake for. 
So as you can see, there are amazing cuts in this cartridge. There's uh, up to 700 cuts, and you get three stamp sets that you can use to coordinate with the cards. This is a card maker's dream. All of this collection in the United States is $99 for all of it. It's actually up to about $120 value put together for you all in, all in one place. So $99 for all of this, and you're going to use it. It's going to be a go-to cartridge that you're going to use all the time. But because you're spending more than $50 on a product, you can get our stamp of the month. And for the month of September, this is our stamp, stamp of the month. It's a full stamp that you can use for scrapbooking, you could use it for card making. There's a lot that you could use with the stamp set. So this stamp set is only $5 when you purchase $50 or more in product. So the stamp of the month is a great, great way to get more product for not, not a whole lot of cost. So again, we have the Artfully Scent Cricut cartridge, $99 in the United States plus shipping and tax. And then we have the stamp of the month. This is our stamp of the month for uh, September. So you're going to want to utilize this. Um, and I am sure you're going to enjoy this. I will have more projects coming soon, but I wanted to get this video out to you quickly so that you can see what we're all excited about. Thank you and happy crafting!